Hi, how's it going? Welcome back. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to episode seven of Anna's Health Diaries. So this morning I've woken up. I woke up about 6, 6.40 a.m., because I'm going to bed early and it feels so good because it's getting warmer. So it's super, super exciting. And I, guys, I'm just going to start the vlog off with a, a celebration and achievement. For the last, since I was in Byron, so about two weeks, for the last two weeks, I have had a bowel movement every single morning. Every single morning. And, like, that is so freaking good. Like, that's just not my norm, usually. But now it is. Like, sometimes, you sh like, I'll have to, five out of seven days a week, I'll have to, like, jump up and down, like, you know, like, bouncing like this. Um, to get, like, and then I find that there's lots of air and gas and then a bowel movement. But the other two days, it's just, like, a bowel movement straight away when I wake up. And it's like, that's, like, my goal. So, happy days. If you've experienced, like, increasing bowel movements that you haven't had in a long time, let me know, because let's celebrate together. But today, I'm just going to show you a breakfast idea and a little update. So I'm super excited for that. And I'm about to go for a swim. I, I met a friend like yesterday for a swim. It was so beautiful. I just wore a dress. I was like, this is nice. Thanks, Sydney, for nice warm weather. I've got a jacket on today. It's slightly cooler. But uh, I'm going to go for a swim. And I've done a little bit of kind of like inner work this morning or stuff to work on later. Mm, yeah. So hope you have a beautiful day or night wherever you are. And if you haven't watched my latest YouTube video, I show you some fun meals to eat. So you can click it up here. Also, my skin has gotten so much better. Like I'm, t oh, like when I touch it, there's like no congestion. Ah! So that's what my skin looks like. It's still healing, but like there's no congestion, and like my chin's broken out a little bit, um, hormonal. But again, like the skincare that I'm using is really helping that to just stop doing bad things. And that's my other side. Like again, there's a few more breakouts and then my forehead um, is a lot better than it was. So, yay! <laughs> hey guys, so breakfast time. I usually have a savory breakfast, but for the last week or so I've been having smoothies and I'm really loving it because it's getting warmer and my body's healthier than it was. Last time I was eating smoothies, I was really bloated and everything. I'm slightly still bloated now after eating smoothies, but I feel better. So super excited and they're super simple. The same thing every morning. I get my protein, my antioxidants, my, my good fats and my carbs. So let's... I'll show you what it is. what I have for my smoothies at the moment just because it has all the things that I need like the protein the fats my supplement I can have the berries and stuff and it's getting warmer so that's what I choose to have because I've just been feeling like it. I'm just going with how my body feels and what it's craving and um, yeah for the good fats I usually add avocado in but I bought myself coconut yogurt last night so I was like no I'll have that today save my avocado for lunch and dinner I usually have yeah, coconut yogurt or avocado for my good fats. Super easy. You can make it in a normal blender, that's fine too. Like I did have to scrape this down. 
once because of the powders kind of go they go poof on the side so you will have to do it with like a blender usually two depending on your blender I guess but otherwise it's super easy and it tastes like 10 minutes max um, and you can add it with whatever you want I keep mine simple let me know if you make it Washing up. Um, how's life? Life's really good, you know. Life's allowed to be easy, you know. You know, life is here for us. Life is here for us to have fun. And we're not meant to be doing things that we're not wanting to be doing. So you might as well just be doing the things you want to be doing. You only live once, so talk to the person you want to talk to. Or eat that thing that you maybe don't ever allow yourself to eat and you may okay to eat it. Invest in yourself. Like hire a coach, hire a PT, hire a life coach. I know I have. I investing in yourself is the best thing ever. Whatever it is you want to do in life, travel when well, we can you know, get on a plane again. Go and do it because you have one life. And it's not gonna wait for anyone. So you might have to just go and do it. See, I like to clean up as I go because then when I finish eating, I don't have to do anything and it's great. Guys, these straw cleaners are great. If you have like a little thing like this where you eat food processor and like food gets stuck in like this part, you literally just get the straw cleaner and it gets it all out. It's great. Then you know your appliances that you're using are 100% clean. Cooking tips with Anna 101. And there we have it, folks. Breakfast. And after I have my smoothie, I have my supplements, my AM supplements. So I got a big box of supplements yesterday. Like in this thing. Freaking amazing. Now I'm back on all my supplements again. So I haven't had oregano oil or oregano um, in a couple of weeks. But this is killing off all the bad bacteria in my gut, the SIBO. So I'm really excited to be back on that. I started that yesterday. So I'm going to have two of these now. And then I'm on SFMXL, which I mentioned previously. This is to help with thyroid gland. Like that's all hormones and stuff like that. So I'm taking two of those. So yay. Oregano oregano is really quite strong. So I feel like it's definitely working, which is really exciting. And the one that she gave me is a specific um, strand of the plant. So does, that's how it works. Like it just goes straight in and gets the baddies. And then it's like, <gasps> the baddies are like, ah! And then my gut's like, yes! And I'm like, yes! So here's to oregano oil. And after I eat, I try not to drink for 30 to 45 minutes just because if you have liquid, when you, your body's still digesting food, it kind of messes up the digestive system. So when I have supplements after I eat, I just try to have minimal water, you know? So it, it, my body can still digest the food. I used to be so bad at swallowing pills. Like it would take me half an hour to swallow one like that size. But now that I do it all the time, I'm like a pro at it, you know? And my SFMXL also is it helps thyroid and my hormones, but it also helps my iodine levels because iodine is linked to thyroid. Because I have low iodine, it, this is helping build up the iodine slowly so we don't overdo the system and then therefore helping the thyroid and therefore helping the hormones and therefore helping everything else. Yay! So I finished my smoothie and this is like my what my stomach has done. So this is like that's kind of like sucked in, not bloated. Normal. And see how it goes out, does that. So I'm still actually quite bloated from that. But like this, like that um, is not as bad as it would be, would have been in like maybe a year ago. So that's improvement. I probably, like I did just have an extra bit of like sunflower butter, but like that's like quite bloated. Like I look kind of pregnant. Not really, but like that's like that's normal. And yes, I went swimming, so they're my swimmers. 
Hi, how's it going? Welcome back. Chat time. Let's chat. So pretty much I just am going to, I'm going to update you guys. Brief update on what's going on. So pretty much to start with, I, since Byron Bay, which is about two weeks ago that I was in Byron, I've had a bowel movement, as I said earlier, at the start of the vlog, every single day. So that's super exciting. So it's still all over the place. Like yesterday I had like two or three bowel movements and like otherwise it's just been like one in the morning. But like I'm just like, as long as I'm going to the toilet, I'm happy. So I think like a few things have been contributing to that. My PHGG that I've been having every day that helps with bowel movements. I've also been, been drinking like the same amount of water. I guess like just my diet has really helped because everything that I was eating pretty much, not all of it, but majority of my food that I was eating was high in sulfur. So like at the moment I'm not eating any red meat or sweet potatoes or eggs. I wasn't eating eggs anyway because they broke me out. Spinach, kale, uh, broccoli, cauliflower, um, collagen, all that stuff is high in sulfur and I was eating all of that and now I'm not and my body's like oh we can actually do our thing and that's really exciting and I feel so much better and I've also been taking my oregano oil as well and it's killing off the bad bacteria and all my supplements I think it's all just helping and like my nutritionist and my skin lady Haley said that like my skin is uh, related to SIBO so that's really exciting and my skin is getting so much better like I showed you earlier but like this is it and like when I touch it, only when where there's actual like breakouts is where I feel like a congestion. But otherwise, it's so soft and clear. And I've got a few on my chin, but that's hormonal. So period, maybe. And like that's that side. And like the only again, like only where I've got a couple of breakouts so that I can feel. Otherwise, it's soft and it's so exciting. My forehead's getting clearer. So super exciting about that. My skincare brand and range is amazing. And I've just got a serum for that. So that's really helped. It's got lots of actives in it to like help clear and repair the barrier. So I'm actually seeing Haley tomorrow for another facial. And then after that, next month, I'll start, I will start getting skin needling. So I'll take you along with me on that journey. Yeah, so that's this, like the bowel movement update. So pretty much like, yeah, diet, supplements, and just lifestyle. Lifestyle changes that I've been making are... I sleep with tape over my mouth, like just like it's safe tape. It's like a, the white tape, I forget what it's called, but let's just put a strip over there and I sleep with that on most nights and that just like it stops, you know, it shuts your mouth. So it's like your mouth's shut and then you pretty much are forced to breathe through your nose, which is what we're meant to be doing anyway. And that just gives our body and our organs and our muscles so much more oxygen and therefore helps like it to relax our muscles and our organs. So therefore, bowel movements can be easier. So I think that's been paying off, which is super exciting and just like helps with like IBS, IBS and just gut issues and sleep and just overall like health. And there's so many other options that I spoke about in my other video. And also I have been just like living life you know, having more fun, being more free and allowing myself to have more freedom. And I think that's really like taking the stress off and know that everything's happening for me and I've let go of control of like my career and everything. So that's really helped, I think. So they're like the, and then, you know, I'm, you know, doing meditation when I can and dancing and having fun and doing the things that I love to do and getting sun and ocean and salt and all these lifestyle things that are helping and I also try I still haven't gotten into the habit yet but humming in the shower to activate the vagus nerve which is like you know the the brain to the gut to help digest and break down food and overall gut function and motor function my supplements that I have changed since last time these are all again based on my own personal experience in my body recommended to me by a nutritionist that I'm personally working with so what I might be finding works for me may not work for you because everyone's different but this is just an outline of what I'm doing so it might inspire you to go out and do some research for yourself so I'm on Blackmore's Biomineral Formula so Biomineral for Formula pretty much is to like sop up, sop up? soak up any um, of the excess bacteria and sulfur in my gut I'm taking one of those per day, usually before bed. I can kind of have it whenever. The new, new, new supplements that I'm on, uh, I'm on a vitamin C powder. I actually had this already, but this is like a poly C powder. So it's got absorbic acid, magnesium, zinc, um, calcium, and a few other things. But that is, I take that one teaspoon upon waking with my Vitex and my Ibogast, which I have been taking as well, and I still am. And this pol a poly C, ah, this is the one she recommend. Different. It's 
already on there. Anyway, she rec like she put on my account to buy where I buy my supplements a different one, but this is actually what she recommended to me anyway. Anyway, amazing, cool. Anyway, so vitamin C is, is for collagen production, skin barrier, and boosting progesterone. So that's all goodness there that I am getting from my vitamin C powder. I'm taking, I don't know if I spoke about this, but Trimag Supreme from Designs for Health. Taking two of those before bed, so pretty much that's a magnesium supplement to just, you know, help my body relax and um, get a deeper sleep and all that type of stuff. I notice that when I have a break from magnesium and then I go back on it, I start remembering my dreams and having more vivid, clear dreams. Therefore, that means I'm getting a deeper sleep. So if you haven't had magnesium, I think like, you know, the past two nutritionists I've worked with say that, you know, everyone is usually deficient in magnesium. Like we can always have more. But again, this is just based on my experience. I'm not a health professional. So um, don't overdo it. Um, just do what's right for your body. Magnesium, love it. It also helps relax muscles and, you know, therefore the gut muscles and the gut organs. And I'm also now taking a new probiotic, which is super exciting because I was on BioGaia before and now I'm onto a new level of my healing, which is very exciting. It's called Ultra Flora GI Soothe from Metagenics. And again, you can only get this through a practitioner because it was diagnosed for me. And it is on the back of the bottle. It says contains a clinically studied probiotic strain shown to support medically diagnosed IBS it's meant to help with reduced occurrence of pain, discomfort, bloating, and excessive gas. So I started taking that last night. So I keep that in the fridge. So I'll be putting that back into the fridge after this video. Yeah, so this pro this probiotic helps reduce the sulfur bacteria in my gut. So that'll be doing its job overnight when I take that when I sleep. And my last new supplement, this bad boy. I think I remember I took this when I was like in 2017. And I remember the smell because um, I dropped this. I smashed this glass bottle all over the floor under the fridge when I was living at my dad's place. <laughs> not a fun time. Anyway, so this will, it's nice and safe this time. That will not be happening again. Thank you for being nice and safe. Anyway, so I take this once a day, one teaspoon. It is omega-3, Nordic Naturals. It's got a great lemon taste. And this is for skin barrier layer and hormone support. And obviously the other functions of like brain health, cognitive, healthy heart, optimal wellness. But yeah, happy days for Skin Barrier because that's what I'm working with Haley on, my skin specialist. I'm pairing the ba Barrier at the moment where it's gotten so much better. So I'm doing the outer stuff and the inner stuff as well and obviously helping with hormones and everything like that. So that's my updates on my supplements and what I'm doing currently. And I'm going to, I need to write, I think I'm going to write a note saying hum, hum, hum. So then I can keep um, helping that, that um, activating that vagus nerve and just taking time before bed before I go to sleep, like reading or just not on my phone. Trying my best to do that. Not perfect, but we're trying our best. And I think that's pretty much it for the updates. So pretty much still the same kind of food, you know, rice, ve veggies, zucchini, carrot, avocado, a little bit of that, and chicken or salmon. It's really delicious and easy and simple. And if you want to watch my last YouTube video, I show you some nice, easy, simple meals. For that and if you make this smoothie let me know show me i want to see it or your variety or variation of it it's really yummy but i did i get really tired after it so i'm going to actually try i'm going to trial for the next week because i used to, i went off smoothies because it was spiking my blood sugar too much so i'm going to go off smoothies for the next week do my best to do that and then just have savory breakfast. So the same as dinner and lunch. I found that gave me so much energy and I wasn't like crashing. Give that another trial again because that's what I worked with Amanda on. So kind of went backwards on that. But anyway, it's all trial and error. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below, what you want to see from me, any smoothie or recipe ideas you want me to create, anything you want to ask, hit me up down below, send me an Instagram message or tag me on Instagram at Anapatch underscore. I would love to see you there and connect with you there. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more and not miss any of my content coming out. And I'm super excited. Again, like it's always, you know, I'm always getting better and healthier and it's a really, really exciting journey to be on to finally know what's going on with my body after nearly four years, about four years. So I hope you all have a beautiful day or night wherever you are and here's to health and here's to you. Thank you all for watching again and I will see you next time on Anna's Health Diaries and stay tuned for a travel vlog. I know I keep saying that but it's coming because I've got so much content and it's a lot of fun. 
So um, I'm going to go with my supplements back to the fridge and I'll see you next week. Bye. Hi, me again. I just wanted to check in quickly before I start editing this video that my journey is still really up and down. Like I ate something last night. I ate this sushi last night and my stomach today feels like there's a rock in my side of my stomach and it's really gassy in air and there's a lot of built up air in my stomach and it's really uncomfortable. I have had bowel movements today which is really great, really really awesome but just reminding you that it's always an up and down journey to get to where you need to be and just want to give you hope that if you're not feeling as great as you would want to or you would hope that's okay. I just wanted to let you know that it's okay and it's okay and it's okay because I'm feeling up and down as well so we're in it together I just wanted to jump on here before I clock out and remind you of that so you've got this keep going it's gonna be worth it